in the next few videos of the series we'll do an introduction into the EV3 color sensor, how we can use it, how we can detect different lines and how we can use the sensor on the competition. We will be using this sensor, the cover sensor, to detect different lines on the table here and because of this the sensor must face down vertically, not horizontally, but vertically down. I'll remove the ultrasonic sensor from the previous tutorials and I'll add the light sensor. Now, if we just use the same attachment to add the color sensor. I will sometimes refer this to this sensor as a white sensor, but it's more correctly to say that it's a color sensor. The white sensors are part of the NXT robots. So this color sensor, if it is added like this, uh, it is facing forward and that's not what we want. We want the sensor to be facing down. So I'll use one more additional part in order to make the sensor face down. Like this. Now there is some gap between the table and the light sensor. It's about one finger width, so it's about a centimeter or half an inch is too much, but let's say it's half an inch. So that's uh, that's the distance between the sensor and the table. You cannot place the sensor very high, like this, for example, because it will not detect the lines that are on the table. And you can't place the sensor very near to the, to the table, because again, there is not enough room for the sensor to work correctly. You must place it at about a centimeter high, half an inch. And the default port for this sensor is port 3. I think it was port 3. This here is the sensor. Now the programs that we would like to do are first we would like to stop at a black line. I'll take this band and I'll edit right here on the table here it is let's now without entering into much details on how the sensor works let's try to make a program to implement a program that makes the robot stop on this black line first we need a block that moves the robot forward we we'll use again the tank block and we are moving motors A and D. So move forward motor A and D and we don't want to move for one rotation. We just want to move forward until we detect a line. How do we detect a line? We add a weight block again as with the other sensors with the touch sensor and with the Mindstorms ultrasonic sensor, we add an weight block in the EV3G software and we select weight. We are waiting for the color sensor to have to detect a color and this color would be black, only black. So move forward until the color sensor detects a color that is black. So you can see here the different colors that we can select from and we want to detect black because our line is black and then after we detect the line we want to stop we want to stop with both motors just so that you can see it it's again motor A and motor D and we want to stop let's download and run the program this here is the robot, this is the cover sensor and now we'll start download the program. 
the robot moves until it reaches the black line and it stops and I can start the robot from different positions from example for example from here again it stops on the black line or I could start it from here this is the basic way in which we use the color sensor in the next program we'll try to stop at the third black line not the first but the third and uh, you can try it before watching the next video to build a program that stops on the third black line